Okay, my beautiful friends, it's you and me yet again, and here we go. On this Monday, March 29th, 2021, I don't know where to begin. How about this? Yesterday, an Indonesian oil refinery was basically wiped off the map. Uh, a, a lightning strike basically destroyed the entire place. Apparently, uh, yeah, no surprise to you. You realized that something like this was going to happen. I explained this to you. I told you to watch for it. Well, here it is. Crude oil is getting a bit higher on this news. Nothing major as of yet, but still higher. And you can expect more. More are coming, okay? Uh, forget about it. This is not real. It's all rigged. Nothing is what it seems. They will do whatever they have to do to keep the price of crude oil propped up, period, the end. All right. Right now, stock trading doesn't start for about 30 minutes. Stock futures are lower. People, this is a buying opportunity, especially the banks, okay? Bank stocks are under pressure right now. Buy them, buy the banks, buy the market. The market is going higher, and not just higher, it's going much higher. Just like I've explained to you, since like i don't know for a very very long time here cryptocurrencies are getting bid higher yet again bitcoin over fifty-seven thousand. all the big ones are doing very well dollar slightly stronger right now 10-year yield stable all right i covered all this yesterday um gold and silver under a little pressure right now okay imagine my shock people buy those dips too anytime there is a dip in the price of gold and silver, buy it, buy the dip, buy all the dips on everything until, until what? You know until when? Until that 10 year yield goes out of control, which believe me, it's not going to. The Fed will at one point uh, control the yield curve, period the end, they're gonna do it. It's just a matter of how they're gonna do it. All right, so just realize that's gonna happen. The dollar, they're gonna melt it at one point, they are already printing like we've never seen before in the history of the world, funneling dollars around the world. So look, that's that's that game too. Period. The end. You got it. It's very, very simple. So this morning is kind of an interesting setup. Think about it. We got stock futures lower right now, 10-year yield stable, dollars slightly stronger. To me, looking at the scenario here and the fact that they just blew up an oil refinery, an entire freaking oil refinery, that tells me stocks are going higher. Okay, so you buy these dips, period. You got it? You buy the dip? All right, that's how it's going to go. Keep your eye on that dollar index like I always tell you. Keep your eye on the 10-year yield, and you can find links to these right on my website, top of the second page, real time. Follow these things things and you will know where the market's going to go. Look, the game is very simple. They're going to prop up crude oil. They're going to blow up oil refineries. They're going to sink ships. Oh, apparently the uh, the ship, you know, wedged in, in the canal over there, it's been partially refloated. Does that mean that it partially sank too? Look, they're going to make stuff up as they go along here. All right. They're going to block supply routes, period, the end cause economic turmoil around the world, shut down, keep the global economy shut down as new and mysterious variants just happen to show up. Oh, and expect more variants. Oh, they're going to show up and they're going to be really, really bad. So just remember to be scared too. Uh, they will not allow the global economy to reopen until the central banks are finished inflating and buying it all. That's what this whole thing is really about. That's what it's all about. All right. So and the bigger the lie, the more people are going to believe it. Get that jab. Make sure you get it because the variants are coming and the jab doesn't work on the variants. It doesn't look like it because it's apparently what they're telling us is this is getting worse and worse. So the jab don't work. Duh. Imagine my shock there too. All right. So let's just summarize here. Okay. An oil refinery in Indonesia was basically wiped off the map. Crude, and again, no surprise to you, crude is getting a bit higher. 10-year yield stable. Dollar, slightly stronger. Crypto is getting a bit higher. Gold and silver under pressure. Buy the dip. Okay, that's it. Stocks are set for a lower open. Buy the dip. 
banks especially, buy the dip. How many times do I have to repeat myself? I think you understand that this market is rigged, it's fake, the, it, 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 nothing is what it seems, so you and I will take advantage of everything that we can. It's This is the gift that keeps on giving, like I've explained to you. It's all a game. And once you understand the global game that is being played, okay, that's how we can predict oil refineries getting blown up. This is how we can predict what's going to happen. Ships getting wedged in the canal that they just partially refloated, still stuck. Lovely, lovely. They're going to play their games, people, and we're going to play ours. And we're going to play it better because we could really see the future. There's no doubt about it. We know what the future is. So how can we possibly be beaten? All right, that's it. I'm out of here. I'll see all of you later for my post-market report. Please share the video. See you later.